Hello, this is Clash Python right here, and today I'm going to show you a video about Clash Royale. I haven't done a video in a long time, and as you see, my deck got stronger and stronger by upgrading the Lumberjack to level 3, upgrading the Princess to level 3, upgrading my Mega Knight to level 2, having a Goblin Gang leveled up, having Zapped almost leveled up, having my Leap of Barons leveled up, and my Mirror almost level 7. Another thing I wanted to show you is that I got a new card, Lava Hound. I got three of him. One in a, ma in a magical chest, one in a, in, a, in a silver chest, and one in a crown chest. I also upgraded my Ice Wizard level. I got another Sparky, and I got another Infernal Dragon. Of course, I upgraded my Miner too. I wanted to show you a video in Chandra 1, my best ever was to get 483, last season I got 423, 423 not 83, but it doesn't matter, so I may be going to buy a log in the shop, maybe yes, maybe no, I really do not know yet. But first, let's play. Okay, so so I've done. I'm doing an actual game, so so it would be more interesting. I for truly I accidentally pressed on it, but it doesn't matter. For right now. My I'm using a wizard as an attack card. It's usually a defense slash attack, but I mostly use it just as an attack. I don't know how how other people would like to use it. They can use it or as an attack or as in a regular card. It's it's depending on the person you that's using it. Okay, that's a good start. I use the tank and a goblin gang, which can get you a lot of damage to the building. Okay, we one lumberjack. We get it down. I'll help with the zap. Nope, the lumberjack didn't came to the. It's here right now. I thought of using my wizard as a protection against the barbarians, so he can be in a, also an attack after that. The only times I use wizard as a protection is in front of goblin gang, and. Um, minion horde as you just saw I used the princess but usually I used my wizard in one shot he brings them down mm, he's playing really defensively right now he doesn't want me getting his building again so he's just playing a lot of defense on and on and on until he won't have any defense to put so I, I'm getting he the house little by little by little. Oh, here I go. Now it's it's times two elixir, so I get a big chance of of having a double attack both sides. I'll take lumberjack. I I tried to use another thing, as you saw, but I couldn't. So it's a lumberjack and something else. It depends on what I I'll get in the second that I'm using it. I put it in front of the barbarian because I knew he'll die, and I wanted my wizard to be in front of a musketeer. Oh, that's a bad thing for me. I need to use the princess really badly right now. Oh wait, I lost the tower. Yeah, guys, I just lost the tower on the last second of the game. This is shows you that no matter what, look, 22. No matter what the game, you can never, ever think that you have lost the game. I just got down arena. Right I'll level up for you guys. That was a crazy game over there. It was like, you see yourself, you think you're winning... I was like telling you that I'm going to win the house and I'm taking them down little by little and I I lost the game.
doesn't matter. I'm going to now win this next game and have a win. He has a level max wizard, as you saw. It's pretty good. And yeah. So the Mega Knight is really strong. No, no, he can't hit the. Oh, he hit the middle being lane. That was just the thing I didn't want it to do. The middle building is a strong building where it, it's not the stronger at shooting but and it doesn't and it doesn't shoot that well but it does give them more power of shooting instead of only one thing is shooting. That's pretty good for him. It was but I still I want the house so it was okay just if I didn't win the house and I was close to losing then then that was then that would have been really bad for me. Now we're tied. Yeah, we're now tied in the houses. Close to tied and he's level twelve. It's it's a really good level. I hope to get up to level twelve closely. And I'll be there really soon if I upgrade my stuff and upgrade others, whatever they need to upgrade. Oh, another thing, you should never upgrade things that you're upgrading to others. It just gives them and you don't get that thing. So, you don't get what you wanted, but they didn't get what they wanted. So, you should always help your deck. I'm not telling you, j don't give others, it gives you XP and it helps your clan stay better. But just don't bring others if it hurts your deck. That's what I mean by what I just told. Here's a perfect example of a wizard staying alive, which means he would have... he. I could have given up and thought uh, the wizard is dead and do a, another attack, but the wizard is still alive. It still means that I have a chance of winning. And he has a chance of winning. But he's closer for me to winning. So just so ever, anyone can think right now, I'm losing this game, but he can win this game. He can win this game. I can win this game. That's really good for both of us. Oh, that's a really good stand for me. I'm almost winning him in both houses. So it's a really good time for me right now. But, as I told you before, it doesn't mean the game is ended. It can always change. Yep, it can change really quickly because he has a golem. A golem is... Yep, see... He just almost won my house. That's really, 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 really close right now. For me winning, for him winning. Wait, oh, I just saw he left the game. If he would, then I would have won. But, yeah, I won. I leveled back up. I think I'm going to get a super magical chest really soon. I already got some two draft chests. I wanted to do a video will showing you how how to open a draft chest and which cards would you should you better pick. But it didn't go out good and I couldn't do any video for you. So right now I'm going to do a sudden death challenge. Which is a challenge that you have to get one building down and you're done with the game. So I don't really need to care about other buildings. I need to stay on one building or or make it on two buildings. So yeah. And I need to care a lot about defense. Right now you can't lose yourself a tower and just think, oh I lost the tower, it doesn't matter. Because then it means he won the game and I don't want that to happen to me. Because I want to win the game so I can move on in the challenge and... And get some better stuff. In another one of my devices, I have a Ghost Royale. I'll 
I'll check in my in my other device if I can if I can upload the video there. So maybe I can show you a ghost reality deck and other stuff that will get be good, really good with ghost real. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed showing you, even though I lost N1, and I I always get better, everybody can get better at anything, and I just hope you watch my next video. Bye for now.